That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! These are no demons, just flesh and blood woodcutters. I'll never be able to explain this to anyone. A fucking ointment. Damn that old hag. Now what? I found out more about the Ujit's witchcraft. Pray, do tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire. Oh my god, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed it. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's Sabbath. Good god. And what happened? I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake! How could you? Such needless slaughter! Those men meant well! Was there no other way to stop the bloodshed? The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I did everything I could. The good Lord observes your deeds. Pray for the souls of those unfortunate Christians. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Pray for their loved ones and for your soul and mine, because we share the blame. And now please, go. Leave me alone to pray. Christ be praised. So, are you happy with your new cook, Merchant Hagen? Happy? It's a fucking nightmare! Well, what's the matter? I chose her according to my best knowledge and conscience. She certainly knows how to cook. Her food is excellent. But her stories... Stories? More like sermons, actually. All about the evils of Mammon, how Jesus threw the merchants out of the temple and whatnot. And it's all Father Francis this, Father Francis that. No doubt, Father Francis was a saint with infinite patience. Well, the main thing is she knows how to cook, isn't it? True. 
Her trout, braised in wine with spices, honestly fit for a king, I must admit. And she can manage all the housework. Perhaps in time she'll lose interest in preaching, I hope. So, it seems things worked out well enough, didn't they? Well, I asked for a cook and you sent me one, but... Exactly. I did what you asked. So, about my reward. Do you really think you deserve one? Of course I do. All right, then. Here you are. Yeah! Good day to you. What's going on here? We caught a human and locked him up in the barn. How did you manage to catch him? It's not like I underestimate you, but I can only assume he was armed. Aye, he was. But he had a bit of bad luck. I went for water in the morning, and all of a sudden I saw a man on a horse riding through the ford. Halfway down the ford, the horse got wild and threw him into the water. I waded in and pulled him up on the shore, and then I realised he was a cumin. Luckily for me, he'd hit his head and was out cold, so I dragged him into the bar. And what plans do you have for him? What do I know? The miller told me to guard him. You'll have to ask him what he's got in mind. All right, I'll ask him. Interesting. Farewell. I'd be with you. One of your hands told me you're holding a cumin captive. You've heard correctly. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. How did you do it? It's not every day a miller's helper catches an enemy of the crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the cumins. I'm guessing you're from Scalitz then. I am. Very well, then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taken. All right. I'll get it out of him. Do you speak Hungarian? No, I don't. Then you won't get anything out of him. But if you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. All right. I can handle it. Thanks. Yeah. 